Hello, Legion. This is Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark. First of all, <laughs> you might have heard at the very end of the last episode, I'm not sure if the recorder caught it. She was just about to say, man, I could use a drink. So she woke up really thirsty and I hadn't taken care of that need. We're still at 100% condition though, which is nice. I also have plenty of cattail stocks. Almost two whole days worth, which is nice. Did you know 20 cattail stocks is... Well, actually, over a day's worth. It's a day and a fifth. I say a day's worth as if there's there's a way to like measure that exactly. What I mean is that what I'm really talking about is the full length of the calorie meter. You know, when you when you fill that thing all the way up, you can generally go a whole day and not worry about eating. So I'm going to go down to 25 here. So we are at the Trapper's Homestead. Sounds like the weather outside is nice, which is great because we need to move at a relatively rapid pace out of this zone. So that's what we're going to do. One second. Right. Sorry. In between episodes, I forgot to mark the one that I had just finished. I generally keep a piece, uh, a piece of paper, a piece of paper in front of me um, when I'm recording so that I know what episode I'm recording and how many more I need to do in a sitting. So anyway, uh, we're, we didn't get fully rested, but we've got 11 hours of daylight. The weather is excellent. What was that? Um, also, I'm tempted to go harvest that deer real quick. But if I get raw meat on me, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I need to keep moving. As much as I could probably use the deer hide. Because that's a true story. I could definitely use the deer hide. Um, it's not time to start hunting for deer hide yet. We've got the heavy hammer, which means I need to book it back to Desolation Point. Back to the Riken. But on the way there... And that, that trek is starting now, but on the way there, we are going to look for a fire striker in the same spot where I found it last time. Because we found the hammer in the same spot where I found it last time. I talked about this last episode. I don't know quite how the random spawning stuff works in the Lawn Dark, but I've got a bit of a hunch. That if we found the hammer in the same spot, we might find the fire striker in the same spot. The if there is... Son of a... This wolf is on me. Did I get away from it? No, it's still behind me. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight it. Ugh. Whoa, hello. What's going on here? What's happening? Don't glitch me game like that. Oh my god. That's the last thing I needed. Oh. Alright, so we've officially survived a wolf attack and interloper. That was terrifying. Get away from me, dude. It's still running around because I hit it really hard with the hammer. Sorry, that that like really made me panic. Like if, if it was gonna like kill me or anything while that glitch was happening, I was I was about to get really upset. So. Okay, so, hang on. We're not wounded. Our clothing protected us, but I'm willing to bet our clothing took a big hit. Oh, wow. We actually did okay, all things considered. I need to repair, but... Oh, I'm shaking. All right, that wolf actually didn't do that much damage. Thank God. So now it's just a matter of avoiding other wolves. God, he really surprised me, too. So that confirms it. If a wolf starts charging you, there's no way to ever outrun it. You can't sprint long enough to make the wolf lose interest. If the wolf is charging, it's going to keep charging. It's going to run after you till it catches you. Which, frankly, I, I think I think that's maybe something that should change. I think that it should be possible, if you're lucky enough, to get into the similar situation to what I was just in. Okay, I hear bears. Or bear crows. But where's the bear? I need to get down there. That's where the fire striker was. I'm. I can hear bear crows, but I can't see a bear, and it's really bothering me. Especially after what just happened. All right, we're gonna. 
We don't risk this. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Okay! Oh, Hadrian is happy. Oh, now I just need to not die right by the uh, exit of the zone. How about that? Especially since we just got attacked by a wolf and we're in a similar condition situation. So let's um, let's collect ourselves a little bit. I'm tempted to harvest this wolf, but I'm at risk for hypothermia already. I can hear bear crows, and it's bothering me. I can hear a bear walking, too. There is a bear here. I just don't know where. Oh, this is the worst. I need to move in that direction, but I don't know if there's a bear right over the slope. Okay, well, I've got to keep moving. I've got to risk it. know where it is. I don't hear anything right in front of me, so we might be good. Yeah, the, the wolf definitely damaged our clothing. We don't have as much warmth protection going on right now, but we're close to some shelter. If I can just keep moving now that I've got... I can see it. I can freaking see it. Let's move. Ooh. That was definitely the most intense moment in the series in a few episodes. We had a little break there, getting to Mystery Lake and finding it as calm as it was. And then that wolf. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, we've talked about this extensively in the series. We've talked about it in the comments. But I thought I might be a goner because of, you know, the various discussions about how strong wolves can be. But I think part of what it is, is that if a wolf manages to bite you, if they manage to break the skin, that's an instant... Go back and watch my first death. It's an instant 15% condition drop. If they get through your clothing, there's a candy bar. Instant 15% condition drop. But if they don't get through your clothing... Um, then you don't actually get that condition drop and you can survive all the way down to zero with that in mind. So that's kind of how it works, I think. All right, let's, um, I think I've got some cloth on. Oh, I only have three cloth. That's not the best situation, but let's go ahead and repair what we can. First of all, well, no, let's not repair the shoes. I need to repair these jeans mostly. 10% condition on the sewing kit. Wow. All right, so that's better. Um, what else Ooh, needs to be repaired? Uh, oh, this definitely needs to be repaired. This is my only head protection at the moment, so we're definitely going to fix that. We're going to have fewer clothing failures since I finally leveled up that skill. Okay, that's uh, that sewing kit's gone. Oh yeah, we had this warm hood, this worn hoodie as well that I was going to repair, didn't we? Let me go ahead and repair that so I can see if it's actually worth it. Even just one repair will be enough to give me the information I need. Alright, this plaid shirt I can also harvest. I need to harvest anything plaid. <laughs> but it's worth it. Alright, so we're, we're warming up in here. That's the good thing as well. Um, let's go ahead and have a look at that hoodie versus the decent plaid shirt. Oh... It doesn't have as much wetness protection, but it's more protective. If I fully repaired it, it would be better than the decent plaid shirt as an undergarment. It would be. So we're replacing both of our plaid shirts. It's not going to protect me as much from the, the water, but that doesn't matter. I, I don't think those stats matter on clothes that you wear on the inside. So yeah, let's go ahead and repair this, and we're going to replace one more item. I was about to be so upset during that wolf fight if it glitched out somehow. You bet I'll be. 
sending Hinnerlin a tweet about that. Like, hey, you might want to watch this episode at this moment <laughs> just so you see what happened. That scared the crap out of me because that, that's the kind of thing that can end a run. And I haven't had on my on my channel anything. Uh, I haven't had a run end in that way before, but I don't want to start now. <laughs> All right, so let's repair this or let's harvest this plaid shirt too because we need the cloth. And also, it's less stuff to lug around. Now, we also still have this windbreaker. I, f I totally forgot about the windbreaker. Hang on. We've been carrying this windbreaker forever. My bad. It's not better than the shell. Actually, it is wind-wise, but not temperature-wise. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and harvest the windbreaker, too. Even though I repaired it at one point... I don't want to keep lugging this thing around if I'm not using it, and I know I don't want to wear it. The shell, I think, is a better item for me right now. Okay, now I can probably, speaking of the shell, I can go ahead and repair that. I just want to make sure there's nothing else that maybe needs a little more. Yeah, the shell's going to make the biggest difference. So let's go ahead and do that. And I might, do I have more cloth than that, or just the one piece? I do have more cloth, good. All right, let's go ahead and repair the shoes then. All right, I'm going to get super thirsty and start losing condition. Good. Okay, so condition-wise, we're in a much better spot. Let's go ahead and drink. Solve that problem. We need to rest for a bit, recover condition that we lost during the wolf attack. Let's also eat this candy bar. I might. What I might do is just hang out here for a bit. we got four hours daylight. Why don't I just rest here? Yeah, that sounds like the best plan. Um, right now, I've got 1,000 uh, calories, rather. So let's rest for... Well, I can rest for 12 hours and be okay. Let's rest for 10. Just because I know I'll get thirsty. Woke up fully rested. Yep. As predicted. Thirsty. <laughs> Alright, we're actually not encumbered. Despite everything we're carrying, which is nice. Even if I were to find some... Um, Right now, even if I were to find a, uh, I, I mentioned, I accidentally mentioned uh, climbing rope because I had a deja vu moment last episode. If I were to find some climbing rope, I could actually carry it out with me right now, which is perfect because then we could get out, get down into the ravine on our way out of the zone, which is ideal. So I'm going to get up to a thousand calories and then at 20 cattail stocks, we still have 3000 <laughs> calories. We're fine. All right, now the only other thing is that right now it is, we still have four hours darkness left, unfortunately. So I need to, let's pass the time for three hours. Okay, now let's rest for, let's just rest until we wake up because I want that 100% condition. I want the crack of dawn. This is good. I'm lowering the encumbrance from my food and my drink, which considering the fact that I am now headed out of the zone and I want to move as briskly, briskly as possible, I want to be well rested. I want the weather to be good. The only problem is that I haven't found a toque yet, which really sucks. And I've, I've looked through the entire zone now. I mean, I've, I've been through every interior area except for the only place where there could be a toque here now would be in the dam. So, I don't have any head covering except for earmuffs. I've been walking around this entire run for over eight days in the cold. How long have I survived now? Ten days. Thirteen hours, three minutes. I hear footsteps. Hey, dead guy. Hey, dead guy, do you, uh, do you have a toque? Of course you don't. You're useless. Step back inside. Normally there's a dead guy right here, but there's not this time. All right, I'm just, I'm triple checking myself here. Did I already check that metal container? Yes, I did. Did I look under the bed completely? It seems I did. Okay, let's, um, let's head up to the lookout. That's our next stop. You never know, maybe there'll be a toque there. The way that the loot tables were redone in, um, Resolute Outfitter. 
it kind of works more based on you find clothes in homes. You find clothes in places where people lived. Okay, there's the there's our destination up there on top of that pile of rocks. So let's run up this here. Well, actually, no, I'm not going to sprint too much. I want to conserve my energy. Feels like five degrees. We're getting plenty of warmth bonuses from our stuff right now, so that's good. Okay, I need to be careful here because there could be wolves here. Is this the bottom of the walkway? I think it is. If it is, oh, happy day. Yes, it is. Perfect. This way, I can go straight up there. I just need to be a little bit careful dropping in here. I think I did this before. This seems familiar. Oh, look at that. <laughs> we definitely haven't been down there yet, game. Chill out. Don't put footprints down just yet. There we go. All right, let's do this. Up to the top we go. If I find some mountaineering rope, I'm definitely grabbing it because that's going to be our way down into the uh, into the abyss. Let's see if we can get a flare gun. Not the abyss, but the, uh, the ravine. <laughs> it's being a little exaggerative there. Feels like six degrees. I'm surprised how little that wolf attack hurt me. But that just goes to show, you know, you wear protective clothing and you do better. This Mackinac jacket is... Can't feel my hands. Actually, it's not that protective. What's protecting me? What was I wearing that was... I can't really tell what I was wearing that kept me so well protected. I mean, I had the hammer, but I had the hammer last time, too. That's what I was fighting the wolf with. I also think I might have been slightly more on top of my, uh, my clicking game than I was with the wolf that caught me off guard. Not that I was completely off guard, but uh, I'm just I'm I'm trying to reason with how the wolf did a similar amount of damage. Okay, we're at risk for hypothermia. There's this thing here. It's gonna take tw twenty minutes. I thought it only took ten to break one of those down. Huh. Okay. Well, in that case, never mind. I'm not gonna stand out here at risk for hypothermia, but I will get some rose hips. Also, let's, um, since I've got the climbing, or no, I don't have the climbing rope, but since we're about to get climbing rope, I think. I'm so confident there's going to be climbing rope up here, it would be, it'd be funny if there wasn't. Oh, hey, wolf, how's it going? Okay, I can't actually see over the ledge, unfortunately. I'm just going to... All right, we're at risk for frostbite. I'm going to get inside. I was going to see if I could see down toward, you know, what you could get if you went down to that ledge. Because there's a ledge when you get down there, but I can't remember if there's anything worthwhile. There better be rope up here. There better be freaking rope. There's rope. <laughs> okay. And a sewing kit. Oh, another lantern. How much fuel is in it, though? What am I doing? Okay. Ooh, very similar amount of fuel. Let's go ahead and drop it, then. Don't need it. Metal container. I'll take it. Ah, survive the outdoors. You know what I could do? I could start a fire with some of the things in here that I can break down now. Now that I have a hammer, it's going to take 45 minutes to break that down. But I could totally start a fire. How much wood do I have on me already? Do I not have... I've got a stick. That's it. Oh, that fire striker's condition is actually kind of crap. I feel like the last one we found was in much better shape. That's part of why I got so excited. So it's not going to help us for very long. But hey... It's, it's a win. It helps us prolong our lives. All right, so wood stove. Let's, um... Use our fire striker. 
can use this stick. God, I love that chance of success. We're in much better condition now. All right, yeah, I need to break down some stuff in here and then I'll... It's going to take 22 minutes. This is going to take some time to break down some of these wooden items, but it's going to be worth it. Okay. So let's use the stick, definitely. That's a beautiful, beautiful sound. It's possible on, that we could find an additional fire striker. That would be the real win. Yeah, well, once I put some wood into this fire, it'll probably be okay. Okay, let's do that. Now, first things first, how much water do I need? Let's go ahead and melt. 0.4 gallons. Frostbite risk has passed. Excellent. That's what you get when you get a nice hot fire. Nothing under the bed. All right. Let's go ahead and drink. And I actually think I still have some tea on me. Yes, I do. Let's use that. Get some calories out of it. So I'm actually encumbered now. Why? I guess just because of the water. And I'm carrying a book as well. So we've got 10 hours daylight left. Why don't I sit up here and read from this book and hopefully not get snowed in? Because this is more fire striking skill. Feels like a good idea. We're going to get hungry, aren't we? Oh, good. We finished it. And, yep, we got a blizzard outside. That would be my luck. Why can't we hear it, though? I really hate that that door does that. Hello, blizzard. Okay, well, now we're in a bit tighter of a situation. I mean, I could definitely break this down. Well, first of all, hang on. There's no reason to sit here hungry. Wow, I already have just 15 cattail socks left. I've going, been going through these things fast. Okay, well, now we're down to over a thousand calories in those um, slightly different situation than we walked in than when we walked in here but we could totally use this moment to rest for a bit and see if maybe this blizzard passes before the day passes otherwise we have we might have a bit of a night trek ahead of us wow okay so we still need to sleep for longer I don't feel like there was much time left in the day, especially since we used five hours of it to read that book. Yep. It is officially nighttime. Wonderful! It's my favorite thing. Okay, so... Alright, I'm gonna have to actually... I'm just gonna plow through the last of these. I'm gonna eat them all. And I'm going to have to go back and do exactly what I did before and get a bunch of cattails from that spot in order to survive. So we are in a very similar situation. This is very, very deja vu. It's almost like a second chance at the same situation. I didn't think it would go this way. I was hoping to kind of find some of the items in different spots, you know? But it's not the way it's gone. I'm carrying more can openers than I need, aren't I? I can, 
drop that. That's ruined. Um, I'll drop this and drop that. That's a pound. Don't need it. And I probably don't need all these whetstones either, but I want to have them with me to when, when I get back to Coastal Highway, I can leave them there and have them as supplies because whetstones will run out on you in Interloper. Okay, I'm gonna pass this time. Okay, there's the blizzard's over. That's good. We're seeing some natural light again, too. Let's go ahead and drink. And tell you what, what I'm gonna do, we've hit the 25 minute mark. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one here. In the next one, we're going to wait out the rest of this night. And then as soon as morning hits, we're gonna head out of Mystery Lake. Um, I, I pretty much need to beeline out of here. Uh, we're gonna stop for some cattails again. This time be much more alert for wolves. Um, this time maybe fight the wolf off, you know, if I have the opportunity. Um, I want to go into the dam, but I don't have a weapon right now. That's the problem. So I need to get to Coastal Highway as soon as possible. And then we're going to pick up as much metal as we can. And we're going to head to Desolation Point and forge some arrowheads so that we can start that process. So, um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut this one here. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New science fiction, survival, and or simulation titles air every day at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.